It's a girl nine kind of call sipping and spilling the tea here in the tea that today I'll give you an update. I'll tell you what's been going on with my life, including my missing teeth. Grab two tea, grab your coffee, grab your tea, come and sip and spill with me. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to Tea Talk with your host Naimka Nicole. Subscribe, like, and share. Tea Talk, where we sip and spill that tea on celebrity gossip, pop culture, and mainstream media. She'll be sipping and spilling that tea. Tea Talk with Naimka Nicole. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? So today I'm having crackers and cheese. And I also have my homemade iced cappuccino, you know what I'm saying, with a sprinkle of cinnamon. I'm on a budget. What's wrong with you guys? I told my boyfriend, send me bus ticket to get back to work. He's like, what? You're not prepared? I goes, no. You need to send me some money. I need to take the bus. Anyways, so today I'm just going to tell you guys what's been happening with me, okay? So, I had two months off this summer which I enjoyed I put in like 10 pounds I'm like whatever who cares um, and I also have teeth problem as you guys know so my dentist has disappeared no he went <laughs> I'm just kidding he went on vacation but he put this thing over my teeth right and I also have my retainer my invisible line is that what it is right the invisible this thing right here okay for you mm? yeah 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 <laughs> so i have that and when i put it in it doesn't stay so it makes it very hard so i have to wait for him to come to remove this so this could fit i'm going back to work i like to laugh i like to do youtube i have to be careful because if i laugh out too loud all you're gonna see a space so work with me i tell you guys in the past i was looking for a man to take care of my health and dental plan well i did find him um but i also have addiction issues which is the halls so i've been eating a lot of halls that just damage my teeth and it's like i haven't learned teeth are falling out teeth need to be hooked up on wire all these things so sometimes he just laughed at me i'm like it's not funny okay <laughs> When it comes to my mental health, that's been I've been doing fine. I'm, I take time to cope. Sometimes I have my moment. I'm not perfect. I'm very reactive, so I'm like, ah, but I'm learning how to cope. Um, as we approach season, um, the change in the season. Don't forget sad, which is seasonal affective disorder. I suffer with that. Yeah, I do. I have a lot of triggers. Um, around this time of the year. I had a lot of um, unforeseen circumstances in life and as soon as my birthday finished and I feed the homeless around Thanksgiving I start feeling that you know feeling but I am learning to cope as I said I do take time off I go see my doctor talk, talk to him let him know what I'm doing and of course my boyfriend who is a great mental health case manager and addiction counselor love him hi Mimiko I speak with him also to him I don't bring my problems as <laughs> he already told me babe I don't want to have to leave work and come home and have to deal with another set of issues so let's learn to communicate this is why um, our relationship work the way it work and a lot of people ask me how does he put up with you and your energy I goes I don't know but what's important to us is one day of the week we have a special day in the week I'm not gonna tell you guys what day or they know too much so um, we pick that day and we see each other and we would have coffee even if it's for half an hour he makes sure he comes to see me unless like I say he has an emergency he has to file a missing person he probably has to be in court or at the hospital something like that that's when we don't see each other or we just see our you know argument then on the weekend i see him every single weekend except when i'm having my women issues oh yeah i don't go see him i don't care i stay home that's just our agreement and i learned to communicate with him less than more so if i have um, an issue i'll be like babe we need to talk about this we talk we done i don't go on 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 or over talk <laughs> You see, I tell all your teeth may seem work with me, but I'm real. So I'm here and I still still decide I'm going to talk to you guys, okay? I'm very sleepy as you can see my eyes. Is it sleep or is it something else? 
I don't know. I'm just saying. So another thing people ask me, they're like, oh, you don't talk about relationship and hoodman and stuff like that anymore. And I goes, no, because that's not my life. When that was my life, <laughs> that's what I used to talk about. I was telling my friend um, today, uh, one time when I break up with a hoodman and he didn't want to come and get his clothes, I give it to the homeless and I said, go over there in the park and change. And he ended up calling me and I want him mom what is blah blah blah. I'm like, hey, I told you come get your clothes. You don't want to come get your clothes. I give it to the needy. I realized like a couple days later he realized okay, there is no way to get back to me. He can't come back in my home. He's like, you know, the, what you did was a, a good thing, you know. I goes, blessings, man, blessings. I just hang up the phone. <laughs> now the other way around with Mimiko. If I leave my clothes there and I want my stuff, he just ignores me. Okay? He ignores me when he feels like. And then when he feels like I'm in a better mind space so I calm down, then he'll call me and be like, oh, meet me downstairs for your stuff. And I'm like, what stuff? I'm in love. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm coming with you. He's like, what are you talking? I'm like, I'm not coming for nothing. I don't want nothing. I, I come send it in an Uber. I start acting out, you know, until he's like, you know what? I'm coming for you. So, you know what I mean? It's a different, they both Jamaican. Isn't that funny? My ex is Jamaican. Mimiko is also Jamaican. But it's a different relationship. That's why I normally said I can't act a certain way because that's not what's happening. I can't come on TikTok and talk a certain way if I'm not experiencing it. So, when I was experiencing all the cheating and all the BS, man, I had content, yes? No, my content is just love. And you guys would get bored if I come every day and say, Oh, he took me to the um, chocolate factory. Oh, he took me to the this. And we did this. And he kissed me from my head. To, like, you're going to be like, Oh, okay. But if I come and I start giving you like, Man, I see some things on his phone. And I'm telling about himself. And retake And slam car. And break glass. Bust the window. You guys will love that. But I can't make it up. Because it's not happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just a realist. But anyways... That's pretty much it. Um, why don't I post him? Because I think I post enough about my life. I post enough about... I talk a lot about him. We hang out with the most. I just think social media, sometimes we have to keep things to ourselves. And I learned the hard way. Because I wasn't like that. I, I had a relationship in the past where I post everything. When the relationship done, I have to remove everything. I'm not into that. If me and Mimiko has an uh, argument, nobody knows. Because, you know what I'm saying? We just deal with our stuff privately and it is what it is and I like it the way it is like and I said because of his line of work also um I am also a social worker but he has a different feel and the things he do that I don't want to be exposing him so much to social media and certain things because this is sometimes I'm reckless and I'm like no you don't need to be and also it's a protective thing for even me and my family so you know who you know and who you don't know you don't need to know so you know what I mean but yeah that's pretty much it uh, I see more like I told you guys every day one day a week on that particular day I see him and then we see each other on the weekend and I'm always taking for who you think taking a photo of me <laughs> like really sometimes I take it myself but you know what I'm saying anyways that's all it's eight minutes at uh, nine minutes i think i said enough there's nothing more to say um i think i answer all your questions uh and, and that's about it life is good um i'm healthy my kids are healthy and you know i'm in a healthy relationship that's it i'm your girl now in Nicole. don't forget subscribe like and share tell a friend to tell a friend by the time i come back i'll have my invisible line uh my dentist is gonna remove this thing over me so i can laugh out loud <laughs> Bye. Oh boy. <laughs>